Hey guys, welcome back to Tamajoys.net. I'm going to show you today Nova Launcher, uh, which is a specially designed launcher for ice cream sandwich by the guy that brought you uh, Widget Locker. So, at first glimpse, apart from maybe the uh, animations there, you wouldn't realise that this launcher was any different um, until I perhaps until I did do that, and it's got the the card stack type system that you get in your app in your app drawer here. It's got it right there on the main home screens um, and also if I did that look which was the one thing I missed from Launcher Pro so now as well as my usual folders I can have my not so usual folders like my games folder um, it's on beta version 9 at the moment it's free at the minute because it's in beta but I think he will be charging at some point like he did with Widget Locker uh, and, and to be honest, it's probably, it probably looks thus far like it'd be worth buying. There's quite a lot of options, which I'm going to show you now. You get its own settings here, little Nova settings. So, desktop, draw, dock, behavior, and backup, and then the rest. We can check for updates. I'm running the latest version. Okay. Um, so, desktop, what options do I get there? can choose my scroll effect, which there are many at the moment. Cube, which you've probably seen before. Card stack, like I mentioned. Um, label icons, desktop grid. So you can change the size, the amounts of rows and columns. You can change the margins. Um, so if I disable them, I don't know if I need to restart the... Yeah, now I don't know if you notice now, that goes right fully to the edge. Whereas, if I go back in... Desktop width margin. I'm going to go with small. So it doesn't quite reach the edge. It makes a bigger difference on on these ones generally. They look a bit stretched if you go with the uh, the none. None. Go with the none. None. Um, what else was on there? Sorry. Persistent search bar. Obviously the one at the top there that a lot of people moaned about. I, I actually quite like it being there. Home screens, you can move these around. You can add the button up in the corner there. Um, I think there's a, yeah, so you can delete just by dropping them up there. Back into settings. The app drawer itself, um, widgets in the drawer and the scroll effect. So you can have cube, the cubed effect in the app drawer. It's kind of cool. I suppose then you can, you know, if you have cube on your home screens, you can have cube in your app drawer. Um, and the widgets, I'm going to go back to card stack if you don't mind. The widgets in drawer, I had to move the app to, a, to be a system app, which I used Titanium Backup for, but that then allows you to have widgets showing in, in the app drawer like uh, regular ice cream sandwich does. Uh, the dock, here we go, so dock page is accessed by swiping left and right, so you can change how many there are, two is enough for me. Dock icons, you can select how many there are in a row, again five is plenty. Show a divider between, so again you can get rid of the line if you wanted. Uh, behaviour, screen orientation, I have mine forcing portrait on the, I don't have the launch when it goes sideways, pull my phone out of the pocket and it's, and it's sideways by the time I turn it on still. Wallpaper scrolling, resize all widgets, so you can have it so it forces you to be able to resize every widget you, you might want. Home button action, can do quite a few different things. Um, that's fine. Only on default screen. Um, and then we can back up your settings and layout and everything. So that's pretty much it. Uh, not a huge amount of options, but enough, you know, totally enough to to be able to change it however you want it. I quite like how when I move this, the bar shows which of the home the uh, docks I'm on. But when I do it at the top, it shows which of the home screens I'm on. Oh, I don't know if you guys see that, sorry. Anyway, there we go. So, yeah, it's not massive amounts of options, but enough that you can set it up how you like it. Uh, that's Nova Launcher uh, Beta. Probably the best place to go is the XDA developers to pick that up at the moment. And there you go. My name's Andy. Hemajoy's done it.